All right, 637 now news some people don't want to hear, but may make them feel a lot safer. The happiest place on Earth will likely require anyone in its parks to wear a face mask or a cloth covering. Now that's a move that shouldn't come as much of a surprise. Liza Lucas is live at her home in Fulton County. Social distancing. Liza, I know there's a lot of mixed reactions. You'll get mine in a second, but tell me what the folks are saying. Oh, I've certainly been following the conversation right here from home. So many of you have been weighing in response to this story, tagging friends in response. So would you be up for wearing a mask? Well, we're going to break those down. Now, as a reminder, Walt Disney World and Disneyland have been closed since mid-March because of the coronavirus pandemic. Disney has yet to announce whether either park may reopen. But earlier this week, ticket reservations were made available for trips starting in July. You may remember that Shanghai Disneyland was the first major theme park worldwide to reopen on Monday. And those precautions there included limiting the number of guests in the park, temperature checks, and yes, requiring guests to wear masks. So some of those comments we've been seeing come in, some of you say that's the only way that you would go to Disney is if those masks were in order. Joyce, you can see her little emojis saying that ought to be fun. Hmm. Well, you don't know how she's thinking, but Waiketa said we go to Disney a couple times a year. They missed their chance last month for their anniversary after 20 years. She says, I guess we'll have to miss a few more years, but Roger, he's ready to put those ears on the mask. And Crash Clark, I have a feeling that you're with Roger when it comes to this one, but let me know what you think, guys. Yeah, I mean, here it goes right here, folks. I would visit in a onesie. I would sweat and have <laughs> some funsy. I would wear a mask and gloves while I distance Mickey hugs. I would go and be informal. Disney safety, my new normal. I'm there. Thank you. All right, that was nicely done. That was, that was very I'll nicely done. Um, Francesca is rolling her eyes. I don't think she could <laughs> do it any harder at you right now. So I was also looking at these comments. I thought this one was funny. Peter said, uh, just go ahead and make a mask with a Mickey on it and attach it to a fast pass. Then people will wear it. And you know, he's not wrong. But my only question is, so adults, I believe they will agree to this, but how do you make kids wear a mask and keep it on? I, I don't know. Hmm. That's it. That's it right we there. We want you to continue uh, so to weigh in on big this. Big gatherings. Folks. I don't know right now, but we, I'm also thinking of the kids and how hard it's going to be for them to be controlled. I mean, the way they put their hands, things like that, they're going to be worried about the fun more so than trying to be safe. I think it's a disaster for kids. Right. But at the same time, it's the funnest place on earth. I mean, I, I, Disney, if any company like Apple, like Google, they set the mold, they set the foundation when it comes to safety. So it is without a doubt, I know that they are doing this and keeping our best interests at hand. They're just gonna see how it works, um, but hopefully it works. Because people are dancing for like nine hours. I, I don't know, it's sweat, heat, mask. Continue to weigh in on this, folks. Let us know what you think. You can head on over to our Morning Rush Facebook page right now, our Insiders page, and all you have to do is search Morning Rush Insiders and send us a request so you can approve it. And uh, let's just keep the Disney theme going in other news right now. So if you're still dreaming of even setting sail with Disney, maybe on a Disney cruise, you might have to wait just a little while longer. That's because Disney, according to USA Today, their cruise line is extending its sailing suspension until July 27th. Now the company says the choice to anchor all four of its ships was made, quote, in line with guidance from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The no-sale order was set to expire on July 24th.